Hi everybody, in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to create a sales tax summary report uh, for our HST return, as well as um, create a, and file actually an annual uh, sales tax return for HST inside of QuickBooks. All right, so to get started with that, now first of all, keep in mind the numbers that are gonna be on my uh, tax worksheet and my return are gonna look much different from yours because I'm creating all sorts of different um, uh, transactions uh, to help students up with stuff. So don't don't be alarmed if you know the numbers on your uh, project that you're working on look much different than mine. Okay, so to, to do these two items, we just go down to our uh, menu on the left hand column here, and we go to uh, taxes, and we want to select sales tax. Okay, so we get up to this screen. Now, when we want to run a summary report, we can just go over here to view reports, sales tax summary and change your dates, uh, whatever dates that uh, you're filing for and run your report. And this will just show you a quick summary report of your tax to CRA for your HST. If you have any exempt purchases for HST, you know, those amounts will show up there. Uh, any HST, which we call input tax credits that you paid on purchases, those amounts will show up here. And then HST that you've charged on your customer's sales, those amounts are gonna show up in this column here. And if you recall, the amount that we have to remit to CRA typically is the amount that we've collected from our customers less any HST that we've paid on input tax credits, notwithstanding you know, any adjustments. All right, so that's how you run a uh, sales tax summary report. Um, now to actually file the uh, your return, again, we go back to taxes, we select sales taxes. Okay, we've got this up and you can see in the big letters it's telling me what I've got to pay. It gives a summary up here at the top. So we just go down here to the sort of the bottom right hand corner and we select prepare return. And you can put in, I'm just going to put in a, a really uh, old date here just so I can pick everything up so you can see. But put in your, uh, your starting dates and your end dates as instructed on your um, capstone project. Uh, which I believe uh, is uh, January 1st to August 31st. And let's, again, um, if you've posted everything in uh, 2019, that's the year that you should be uh, setting. All right, and then this is give us a breakdown of our goods and services, harmonized sales tax uh, return to file. And at the top, it shows here the tax that is due. Again, mine's gonna look much different than yours. And if we take a look down now, and this looks exactly like a, uh, an official um, HST return that you would have to file. Most companies, you know, you can file your returns online instead of paper form. In any event, all these line numbers are exactly the same on the uh, CRA's uh, form for their uh, HST returns. So you can see here our total sales and revenue for the period. Mine happen to be 87969 the amount on uh, line 103 and 105, which is collected from uh, customers, was 11435 uh, We had uh, $3,100 in input tax credits. In other words, that's uh, the amount that I would have paid on purchases. So my total net tax is 8255 or that's the amount that's actually payable that I have to uh, pay. Um, you can't see it, I believe, on this screen because of my screen capture. But you would go down on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you'll see a green button that says mark as filed. When you mark it as file, filed, that resets everything in QuickBooks so that when you go and you run your next report, all these numbers and things won't get picked up or caught up in that report because you don't want to be uh, overlapping any of your numbers. Okay, and that's, uh, and that's how you run a, uh, a summary report. Uh, for your taxes, and also file your uh, your HST return inside of QuickBooks. Thanks very much.